Hey guys, gonna be a bit of a different video today. I wanted to respond to some of the backlash that my last video actually got. Uh, I had a lot of people, uh, you know, saying some things um, about me, about the video, and things that I'd done wrong, uh, you know, why I'm a horrible person and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, a minority, a vocal minority potentially, but I still wanted to address some stuff and kind of, you know, give a little bit of perspective and some thoughts on, uh, I guess, the, the Gwen community in a sense. Uh, and talk about clickbait, as it were, and video making and stuff like that in general. Going to be a bit of a weird video, a bit of a rambly one, but stay with me. Um, bear, bear with me on this one, hopefully we can cover some interesting ground. So, the video I made was a pretty standard video for me, it's kind of a talking about the state of Gwent style of video, giving a few thoughts, criticisms, improvements that the game can make uh, potentially in the future, and ways that it can become more popular and whatnot. I've done this many times in previous videos, um, and I gave a pretty balanced perspective of the game. I said it was good, uh, I said of course I enjoy it as I do, um, and I gave some, you know, pointers of here is where the game can, you know, gain some traction and we're looking good in this direction, this direction and whatnot. Uh, we have lost a bit of momentum, uh, from Homecoming happening and being announced initially, but we can turn that around in the future. The video title is Gwent Has Lost Its Momentum, and with a bit of a, you know, a sensationalist thumbnail, uh, dead game question mark, me looking sad, and uh, and a graph pointing down, obviously talk, you know, indicating the viewer numbers have gone down, uh, that's what that's referencing effectively in the video. Now, I don't consider that. I don't know what the definition people are using for clickbait is these days. My uh, thought of what clickbait is is where you are kind of advertising something on the you know title or thumbnail of the video that you then don't really talk about in your video at all, right? You lure people in with I don't know a picture of boobs or something, right? And then the video itself doesn't actually have that in it, and it's just your baiting clicks in. In the video, I am talking about how Gwent has lost its momentum. In the video, I'm talking about you know. A, effectively what this graph represents, which is Twitch viewers falling. I am talking about, you know, how the game, some people could perceive it as dead because the viewership or whatever, the popularity is in some sense declined from previously. Some people will say dead game as a result. I don't agree with that personally, um, but that's the topic that the, the video is focused around. So I don't know what people are considering clickbait these days, but I don't consider that to be clickbait. If anything, some of my other videos are probably more clickbaity. Yes, saying dead game is, yeah, I mean, you're maybe baiting people in who want to think the, the game is, you know, dead or whatever, but really in the video, I am talking about the, the state of the game, whether it is alive, dead in, in those terms. Obviously, those are terms that are a bit, you know, silly and redundant, but whatever. Anyway, I mean, all my videos are using some kind of clickbait, really. That's just how YouTube works these days, unfortunately. Uh, you simply get more views if you clickbait videos. I mean, even other YouTubers for Gwent do it. Uh, it's not just me. Uh, of course, yeah, Drow Kensel OP. Northern Realms is finally at the top. I mean... It just, it makes the uh, video stand out more, and of course more people will then want to watch it, which is my job as a content creator, is for people to want, uh, you know, to get people interested in the stuff I'm creating, and hopefully that they can then enjoy my content. So, really, I, I'm i not sure that this was any more clickbaity than any other, you know, any one video that you could pick out of my channel. Um, you know, Detlaf is incredible, this deck is insane, spies are back! Nah, they're not actually back, guys, that was clickbait. But you see, if I go on these videos, or whatever, hello, uh, no one's really complaining about the clickbait or whatever. So, do you see what do you see what I'm trying to say here? I'm saying that basically, um, people were complaining that back with this video was clickbait. Okay, a lot of my videos are clickbait. Now, I think there's actually a deeper thing that's going on here. Uh, people are not actually upset that I'm clickbaiting because, I mean, otherwise they would be complaining on every video, surely, uh, that I make, pretty much. And, again, I don't even know if that's considered clickbait yet. Yeah, it's maybe sensational, sensationalist title, whatever. But I don't think that's technically the definition of clickbait. Anyway, the point is, I think people are more upset that the idea of seeing something negative about Gwent in the thumbnail or title they don't want to see that. You know, even Gwent has lost its momentum. I saw people getting upset about the title. No, it's true. In some sense, Gwent has lost momentum that it had in the past. Okay, I'm sorry. That is just a fact. Uh, and even the, the Reddit post previously that I made the video about had been downvoted quite a bit, even though it was just purely stating the facts. And I think this just speaks to a mentality, especially on Reddit right now, that 
Uh, a lot of people don't really want to hear criticism of the game in any major way. They don't want to hear that the game is maybe not doing as well as they would like to imagine. Um, and really, there's just kind of this herd mentality of positivity, positivity, positivity. Personally, I think a little bit of balance is good. I like to sprinkle a bit of criticism in here and there, uh, along with the positivity, of course. Um, and honestly, I find it quite toxic that there are a lot of people who uh, are focused only on positives, only on positives, without room for criticism. Now, obviously, that's not everyone. There are a lot of people who, of course, are willing to engage with the content, even if they, you know, they see clickbaity style of thumbnail video, whatever. They then click on the video, they engage with it. And this is a good example, the top comment here. They do talk about the video itself after talking about this stuff. So I just want to maybe give some thoughts on the video itself and really uh, hone down. Because some people are just saying stuff that's not true and they're like con giving conjecture. And I guess they don't realize that I'm a person. I'm, I read this stuff um, and, you know, it's just not 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 the case. So uh, here we go. It's very obvious that he understands it's a little intellectually dishonest to compare Gwent numbers now to big releases like Crimson Curse or Homecoming, or compare Gwent after six months of no changes to a game that flourished before and has to pick up its pieces afterwards. I don't know that this is d intellectually dishonest uh, in any way. I, the whole point of the video was comparing how Gwent is doing, uh, you know, after Homecoming compared to how it was doing before. Uh, I clearly stated that there's a difference there. There is a difference in the numbers. Um, there's no judgment of the game based off of that. Yes, it's it's obvious that that would happen. I, I never said it would. It's surprising that that happened. Um, you know, with streamers leaving the game, with uh, all the changes that come and the game having to restart, it's very clear that that would be the case. I, I never made the point that that was surprising or it was because the game was bad in any way. Um, so I don't see how that is intellectually dishonest, nor do I believe myself that that was intellectually dishonest in any way. Maybe they're talking about how I brought up the Reddit, people on Reddit. That was simply to point out, okay, at some points Gwent is more, it's got more traction, more people are interested in the game than at other points, obviously. After an expansion, there'll be more people on Reddit for a short time and whatnot. Um, so, I don't know, this is just a bit of a weird one. Uh, the video opens with the title, Gwent has lost its momentum, just to mention his very first sentence now, before you downvote this video. Yes, yeah, so I included this line because I knew there'd be people on the internet who would see the thumbnail and they'd see dead game question mark, and they would take that to mean I was saying that Gwent was a dead game, which, you know, I don't say in the video, nor I would, nor would I say outside of the video or whatever. Um, so I put this in here to, you know, the people who would click on that video and maybe be like, oh, Freddy thinks Gwent's a dead game. I'd be like, no, guys, I don't think it's a dead game. Now listen to what I got to say. Um, but obviously that didn't really, you know, people didn't listen to that, uh, that message at all. So uh, that's unfortunate. And yeah, that's not because I was being intellectually dishonest. Yes, it's because I maybe baited a few people in. Okay, I maybe baited a few people who thought I would then be saying Gwent's a dead game uh, for me to then not be saying that. Now, I don't personally actually even see that as a bad thing uh, to do. Uh, maybe that sounds a bit, you know, bad for me to say, but uh, realistically, a lot of people who are subscribed to me don't actually play uh, Gwent at the moment, I believe. Like, quite a lot of the subscribers are maybe not playing. Uh, quite a lot are, but this video, for example, more subscribers actually watched it than normally for videos, and what that means is effectively there are quite a lot of kind of inactive subscribers of mine that are uh, not currently playing the game or interested in the content, but when they see drama type videos like this, they click on it. So when I made a video like this, my intention is to kind of update people on the state of Gwent, uh, and in a way I am baiting in people who want G uh, Gwent to be dead or think it's dead, uh, I'm in a sense baiting in their click uh, to then discuss that topic and say, no, the game isn't dead, it has potential coming up here, here, here. Yeah, it's maybe, you know, we've lost some momentum here, but we're going forward in the future, and the, these are some criticisms, you know, Gwent's a good game, I like it, etc. So, effectively, yeah, I think this, uh, I mean, obviously more people watch it when I do these kind of titles and uh, thumbnails, and even the, I mean, <laughs> the controversy and whatnot probably adds to that as well, it always gets posts on Reddit, which boosts the viewer numbers and, and all that, so, um, really, I don't think it's a bad thing that people will then click on this game who maybe weren't interested in Gwent before, uh, and they'd be like, oh, is Gwent actually dead? No, okay, we get some interesting takes on what's going on with the viewer numbers and player base and etc. And, uh, you know, people uh, from from whatever pers perspective can all come together and say, okay, interesting points, nice video, sure. Um, and also, yeah, I want to talk about, I think people 
seem to think I have some kind of responsibility to like making the game grow or whatever. I don't know what that's about. Uh, really, my intentions as a content creator are going to be to put out the most entertaining or interesting content or um, balanced, you know, fair opinions, whatever. I just want to put out good content, really, and uh, I want to, you know, make sure uh, that as many people view that content as possible. So those are my two goals as a content creator. I don't know that I need to have any uh, goal to make the game do well. Like, I'm not working for CDPR, you know? Uh, I don't know why people keep kind of pushing that onto me. There are comments in my in the YouTube video that suggest such a thing, you know, uh, Freddy, you're gonna hurt the game by doing a thumbnail like that. Firstly, I disagree that that will even have a major, in any way, impact on the game. Uh, to be honest, I think people decide for themselves whether they try out a game, play a game, uh, you know, watch videos for a game. I don't think a thumbnail is gonna decide that for them. I think that's pretty disingenuous to suggest. And yeah, of course, as I said, I don't, you know, I don't bear any responsibility for the popularity of the game. I do not, I'm not hired by CDPR in any way. Um, I will make videos and I'll give my opinions regardless of what people think of those opinions, uh, that is what I'm going to do as long as I believe I'm making fair and accurate content and, you know, hopefully entertaining stuff as well, which gets views, then that's what I'm going to do because that's my job. <laughs> so, um, yeah, basically I think those are the main complaints. Clickbait, uh, okay, all my videos are clickbait, so I think that's a bit hypocritical of a complaint. Uh, I think the real issue is people don't like seeing the negative, uh, the ne they don't like seeing anything negative about Gwent and I don't like that that's a thing. Uh, maybe we should talk about that more in a bit, a uh, bit of detail. The other thing is, it seems like, I mean, there's no escaping it on Reddit, uh, probably on YouTube even as well. I have quite a few people who don't like me. I mean, that's, you know, bound to happen, I suppose. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I could just go through all this. I mean, yeah, <laughs> okay, guys. I mean, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, maybe we go down here. Um whatever, this comment I could go through, but I can't, I don't know, maybe we do that in a minute. Uh, who even cares about this guy? Yeah, I mean, you don't have to care, you really don't have to. Uh, but okay, yeah, if you listen to the video, solid points, nice. Uh, yeah, so this guy's agreeing with this guy. Um, justify, whatever, whatever, dude. Uh, I should go back and finish high school instead of doing shitty clickbait videos. Um, whatever, okay, basically the point I'm trying to make is, yeah, obviously there are people who don't like me, probably they make up a reasonable per percentage of the backlash here. I, I reckon there's a reasonable amount of people who aren't, you know, haters, uh, in that sense, uh, but who, who legitimately don't like the, uh, you know, they don't like perceiving that there's criticism of Gwent, um, but again, yeah, as I said, okay, the, the thumbnail was a little bit baity, um, uh, Maybe I should be sorry for that, but at the same time, I don't think I've done anything out of the ordinary there for my channel, as I said. Lots of clickbait going on, as you define it. I don't think it's clickbait, I think it's just sensational, provocative, in some sense, titling, which obviously everyone does on YouTube. So I guess I'm rambling now, I don't really have much more to say, I just think it's a bit silly that everyone's getting upset over this, like, uh, I've never claimed that it, the, the game is dead, um, I think I was pretty reasonable in that video, I made some decent points, and actually that's one of the better, better talking videos of mine, it's a shame that people uh, disregard it just due to the title or uh, thumbnail, which I even think is pretty fair, I mean, yeah, as I said, this is literally what I talked about in the video, how Gwent has lost its momentum, this is uh, relevant to the conversation in some way, yeah, okay, it's a bit sensationalist, deal with it, guys, that's life, that's YouTube, okay, I'm sorry, that's just how it works, uh, you don't need to, you know, personally attack me, uh, or, you know, say things about me just because I'm, <laughs> you know, uh, doing, a, doing a thumbnail, you know, it's, I don't know why you would be upset about that, and, yeah, whatever. Ah, dude, like, at the moment, no one on, no one in YouTube's doing, like, criticism of Gwent, there's no, like, YouTubers, probably not even streamers, although I don't really watch many streams these days, like, no one's really criticizing Gwent, uh, I feel like I've been the sole person doing that for a while, maybe Swim has at some points, maybe Pumpkin, I don't know, um, but it feels like the main content on YouTube is just gameplay, um, on Reddit, I mean, let's just check Reddit out, Basically, what I'm trying to get at is I think the consensus right now is positivity, positivity, positivity. Great. The game is good. Positivity is fine. I just think there should be place for, you know, maybe a little bit of, a little bit of, you know, a little bit of um, criticism here and there. You know, just healthy discussion. I mean, okay. Anything that is probably talking about balance or criticism is going to get downvoted. That's just Reddit, right? Whatever. I don't know. I'm rambling. Um... 
pretty much, yeah, I don't think I've done anything wrong with that video. Um, let me know if you disagree. I, I, but yeah, I think the real thing is, um, yeah, if people were actually upset about clickbait, they would talk about all of my other clickbait videos and say those are clickbait as well. They would also talk about uh, other YouTubers who do clickbait on, on Gwent videos, which pretty much everyone does to an extent. Um, and I think the real issue is with perceived criticism of the game. People don't like the criticism. Sometimes criticism's good, guys. I, I'm sorry to tell you. Uh, and that's coming from this video not even being very critical of the game. Um, you know, I haven't really been very critical of Gwent uh, in recent times just because of how many people actually just really don't like seeing that. Um, and, you know, to an extent because I don't have many criticisms that I think are fair or balanced that I want to present. But... Really, I'm just hoping that we can all be a little bit more chilled out and not get upset over thumbnails and titles and... <laughs> it's just a bit silly in my opinion. Um, yeah, everyone relax and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.